Okay guys, so I'm a little out of breath. Detroit steel wheel, 18 by eight, four and a half backspace, all the way around for the Wagoneer. So we're gonna be running a 265, 65 Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner AT, same tires that are on the new HD. So we're gonna run those, 18 by eight Detroit Steelys with the caps. Ooh, I think it's gonna look really good. So my wife has decided she wants to drive the Wagoneer, get it set up as a daily driver and actually sell her pilot, which I'm so surprised about. It sounds like something I would have come up with, but these are the tires we're gonna be putting on it. She didn't want to go too aggressive, but at least they have some side lug. They're all terrain and they come in that 265, 65, 18. So that's what we're going to go with. Right now I am headed to take these wheels to get powder coated white. So I'm really excited about that. Let's go chat with Scott. We got the wheels dropped off, the custom coders. What's up, Scott? How's it going, Robbie? You doing all right, man? Good. Good. I peeked my head back there a minute ago and saw that you had something that people on the channel might want to take a look at. You want to give us a little preview on this thing? Come on back. So I got to tell you that we're going to we're gonna do a full profile on this truck when Scott's ready. But since he's got it back here, I figured we'd show you a little bit about, about this truck. So you think back to the little club meet we had earlier this year I actually filmed a little bit about this truck or filmed a little bit of this truck but man Scott's got a shining up in here you been waxing on this thing Alex Walker has to do the same question. it looks awesome man tell us a little bit about what it is all right it's a 68 short yep. wheel base obviously uh, original paint um, it's been dropped with a CPC kit. It's been uh, retrofitted with a 5.3 4L60. Yeah. And uh, it's got a pro charger on it. Oh, can you pop the hood? Yeah. Let's check that out. It's kind of loud in here because they're definitely working and this is like right in the middle of the day. So, but oh yeah. So it's got the P1SC pro charger on it, all black. Well, it looks like a Gen 4, 5, 3, so 2000, 2008. It's a Gen 3 block and it's got Gen 4 accessories. On it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, sweet. I bet this thing will roll on it. It gets on down the road. <laughs> It'll go as fast as you want to go in a 68 C10. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Well, this is a uh, pretty cool little situation you got going here. So that is actually from a early Ford Bronco. So the booster and master setup is? The whole setup is from an early Bronco. 60, oh. 66 or 77 Bronco would have had that. Oh man, that's pretty rad. I've never seen that in the C10. The, the truck did not have power disc brakes on it when I got it. It had manual disc. I didn't like it. Yeah, so, it's hard to stop, especially when you're going that fast. Yeah, <laughs> I really, I, I, I just came up with a solution to have a booster and it not interfere with the Pro Charger. So, uh, I actually had a Bronco back years ago and I knew that that existed and that's what I ended up with. No kidding. We're going to have all sorts of people asking about this now. Yeah. That is, uh, that's really cool. I like how it mounts. I like how it kicks out. And the cool thing about it is it actually flows really well with all this. It's like it doesn't it. seem out of place. I just yeah. noticed it obviously because, you know, I have familiarity it's, it's with these trucks. Everybody asks about it every time. You know this is the same color as my Pawpaw's truck. The is 68 I've never GMC. seen another color. No, yeah, one of these same things. exact one, it's just a GMC. It's rare, it's, a, it's not, a, not a common No, color. it's what, 508 dark blue, I think is what it is? It's called medium blue. Medium blue, that's yeah. right. So this truck is the truck, when I was doing all the research for my Pawpaw's truck, which I haven't, we haven't done anything with, um, this is the exact truck that I was finding online. Yeah. Pro charged. I think at one time, maybe it even had a different set of wheels and tires, or maybe not. Maybe it was still all, it had the Steelys and all they, that on it. They, they were green at one time. The Steelys were? Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. They were green, he had white, he had the tires turned around white walls out. Okay. They but this, stripes, there are pictures, big. I think there are pictures of this truck sitting on a paved road with a bunch of corn in the background. Okay. And I, I remember it having a 5.3 Pro Charge and all that, and that's just yeah. what really got my attention. But yeah, that's I, when the Iowa guys 
Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. That makes that would make sense. But That's where it's put together. This truck, my Pawpaw's truck. And I've seen maybe one or two others that are this color from 67, 68, and that's that's really about it. I mean, yeah. It's a unique truck for sure. The scouts gonna fire this thing up for us, so let's let's check this out. You can tell he's got the exhaust pipe just dropped out right there. <laughs> Man, that is so quiet. quiet. What mufflers are on it? Do you know? Got four of us on it. That's what it sounds like a Pro XS, yeah. like what I have on Teddy. But look, this is back. Yeah, I love how quiet it is. So you got all that whistle up front. So basically, it's just a it's just, stock it's, it's factory. All, it's all stock with a, with a pro charger. Yeah, man, that is so cool. I love it, man. Thanks for showing it to us. Yeah, like I said, we're going to do a full profile where we go ride and drive and do all the fun stuff. Yeah, I love it. But I can't pass up an opportunity to, to get a little bit of footage of it while I'm here. So yeah. this thing's awesome. And thanks for always being willing to powder cut our stuff, man. Yeah, man, of course. It's, I mean, I know it's what you do, but, you know, it's <laughs> very convenient that I can just roll across town and drop my stuff off. Yeah. So I appreciate that. So if you guys are looking for any sort of powder coating needs in the metro Atlanta area, you definitely got to check out Custom Coders ATL. Scott knows exactly what he's doing. He's doing a bunch of work for projects we got going at the shop, and this is for our Wagoneer project. So he's gonna powder coat the wheels up, show that to you as soon as we get them done. All right, so we got them dropped off at Custom Coders. Scott's gonna get the wheels all powder coated up, and we're gonna get them on the Wagoneer. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Probably be next week before we pick them up, but we've got some tires on the way, we've got some hubcaps at home, and my buddy Wes and I, who is an expert when it comes to Jeep stuff, we're actually going to be getting some Bilstein stuff, or Bilstein, I'm not sure how you say it, going on the Wagoneer as well. So we're going to be bringing that to you here soon. Scott's just a super good guy, and that truck is awesome, right? So definitely leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite part of his little 68 Pro Charged C10 is. Obviously, I love that it's got a Pro Charger on it, but the stance with Steelys is just my favorite thing. Man, they just look so good. So there's six in the front, eights in the back right now. Uh, which is the original setup that I had on Teddy to begin with. And he's looking for some 10s, some 15 by 10s, and I'm actually gonna try to get those eights off of him if he does get rid of them. So anyway, we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Do the music.